And there was this little chap by you. Hello, Bert. Bella. Bella, Bella. Come here, Bella. Bella. Hi, warm again. Warmer in the week. I should put the cap on, see? I should stick my cap on when it gets too warm. Always on D. And for the ones looking for this effigy on the side of the footpath, here it is by here. And here is the park slip, a little bit of a history piece of wood, whatever you want to call it. And we'll go a bit closer. You notice on the bottom it says 1864. Looks like that was when the colliery opened with the tram. You've got the tram lines going up here. And it looks like the mark ends like it's all zigzag, like pieces of coal. 1892, but here we got the disaster with all the little crosses, bless these souls. And up the top up here then, where he got 1960-1980, is when he had Shands took over. And you can see the machinery where they done the open cast. Up the top end, you can see where the nature reserve and park slip the little tram. And you see all the little flowers. And this is about three to five minute walk away from the nature reserve, which is park slip the calf the cafe which is just on the road by you crashed out in the shade a bit ah now you're back out <laughs> No, she didn't enjoy a good walk like all the rest of the dogs up here. Most of them delivered up here. And here we got a junction by here now. You can either go left or you can go right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you go down to the right, it takes you eventually right out towards Kevin Way. If you go through the centre by here, this one to the left by here, this takes you down to the Park Slip Monument. Yeah, cycle track. This used to be a cycle track one time, don't you? And of course you've got the little Effigy, it looks like an owl by her. Oh, yeah. I come up here one day expecting Harry Potter to pop her there with one of his owls. Yeah. Now we're through the gate by her now, it's a little bit more shady in here. And of course, this little path down by her will lead you down to the road we just took off. And of course, by her, we have one of the information boards. And of course, we can now go down through here. Yeah, Come on, dog, you lead the way. Well, it's down a bit. That's it, yeah. down in the shade. Yeah. It's a fair little old stroll. I say, down to the monument is about from the nature reserve, it's about a good 20 minute walk. Yeah. A little bit longer coming back where it's uphill. You know what I call working a bit of my Sunday dinner off. <laughs> and here is all the scenery through the trees. Place, and this is why a lot of people that come up here with their cameras, like myself, this is all the scenery and the trees here. Lovely in the shade. Oh, back out in the sun.
And a lot of these fields have little notices saying sorry, no access. I'm not sure why, because I don't think they're growing anything, are they? Unless the ground is rather boggy and mucky. And here we are, in case we do want to sit down, we've got a lovely bench here. And of course, beautiful sunny day like today, the scenery is really nice. And I think already I've taken about two pounds off my belly by walking down here after my Sunday lunch. So you need to go for another dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see why a lot of people that come up here with their cameras. And there is a terrific amount of wildlife in these bushes, yeah. yeah. Lots and lots of wildlife up here. Foxes, badgers, probably the bats in the night. Did you notice that lately? Well, the last couple of years, I got quite a lot of bats around the place in the evenings. Up past nine, you see them flicking around the back of my garden last night and the night before. You see me back around. Knock the camera off now, because people are coming up now. I remember salmon records at the back of the window way on the south right, you know, there's a scene down the field down there, oh, a few years ago, over 15, 20 years ago. And I tell him, I think you better boys better behave. He said he's about six times the size of St. Bernard. He was a big one, I think a guy said he was about 12 stone, something like that. <laughs> That's a big dog, that is, isn't he? Yeah, come on about. Here we are, back on the path now, slightly downhill. Right and we got some wonderful scenery here. And on the left hand side we do have another totem pole here where the young chap or young lady is does the serious bit of carving into the post. I have to say they do wonderful jobs of them. And I hope I'm not giving too much information away as where you're going to find these totem poles. This is the second one I spotted today. If you go a bit closer, you should notice the leaves, ferns, like fossils, stuff like that. And more and more as you go up the post. So when you folks come down there, you can search and find them for yourselves. There you go. That's enough for David Attenborough for today. As I say, it's a fair old stroll down here, right down to the bottom, down to the monument. And it is a beautiful day. I'm not quite sure you can see the little butterflies. There's yeah, yeah. tons of wildlife around here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, out of the ditch too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know about that. There's mucky water in there. Hey, much water in there, probably anyway. When we took him down, um, yeah, it cools him off. Yeah. Gets under his fur, cools his skin. Don't forget it. Don't forget a dog can't sweat like a human being. No. They can only uh, throw their pads or something to the rest of them. That's why they pant. Uh, mm. Enjoying this, a new young lady. Go on up to there. And 
you have another information board. Tell you quite a bit of information about the buzzards yeah. around here, and there are a few, yeah? You go one with the camera, yeah, for a start. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I wonder some people come from far and wide to enjoy our scenery. And they got local people then half the time they turn around and say they don't like the scenery around here. Yeah. I think sometimes they want a bit of an eye opener. No, that's all like um, No, it's all like uh, like reed stuff or it died like but you nobody know get the boggy wet ground. It's like as if it's boggy in there. Eh? It's a wonder they haven't built houses up here they're on about putting houses in some parts here. Where is it? Um, from Park Slip down to Tondi, I think it is. They've done a lot with the brick, uh, with the old brickwork, so it's, oh. you don't have to put another 500 houses there, something. Yeah. And here we come down now into the shaded area. Mm. And it does look nice. Mm. And in the dark, it looks spooky. Well, not even hardly any breeze, is it? Yeah. Breeze, yeah. It's supposed to get warmer in the week, then. Huh? You think this is warm, down 1976 is a lot worse than this. Well, it started off early June, temperatures, I think it was about 19 days, something like that, the temperatures, yeah. 85 or more. Oh, and sometimes the boss is chucking us on tarmac, they work, are we on punishment duties? <laughs> yeah, right. I said, people in prison don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on out of there, mucky feet. Yeah, cooling his feet down. <clears throat> and the wonder hey, people I'm come down here with their there, cameras. It's not pulling me down, is it? Mind just tell you that. Yeah, you want to watch, huh? Yeah. I got to save my shoulder. I got a twang muscle in there. Been there for about seven, eight months. Mm. It don't, yeah, uh, on, it don't like bother me on. too much, eh? When did it come on? Uh, mm. Well, I had trouble with the front of my legs. You got mm. right. They go over that trouble. My back. Mm. I know what it puts my leg where you go. It's like. Uh, yeah, you want to get something like a, like a vibrator thing to vibrate the muscles. Yeah. I used to tell her, my buddy, when he had damaged his leg and he couldn't walk tidy, you want to get something that will vibrate his muscles. <laughs> It'll stimulate them, see, die. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you can get, you can get these um, seats yeah. someday, sit on top. Yeah. And they vibrate, like, you know, you can sit yeah, on Yeah, they them stimulate they, the muscles. Yeah, and they totally uh, they got them down some yeah. of the villas, Scott. You sit on them. Yeah. But well, Stephen had, uh, yeah, a couple of them. Mm. We had yes. one somewhere. Now, down by her on the right, Thing, Here we have the monument. Oh. You can see the monument, and I'm not quite sure through the trees. I don't think a kid should be sitting on the top of it, huh? Oh. Yeah, well, knock the camera off now for a minute. Come here, doggy. Oh, yeah. I'm on a cut with that, I. I'm on a cut with that, look. Come on, you. Up here. Come on, have a cut. Come here. Come here. Come on. Mm -hmm. And here you have the Park Slip Monument of 1892. And just over here we have the monument itself. Here is the footpath which leads down from the cafe at the Nature Reserve, which is about a 20 minute walk down to the monument. As you may well see. And go back this way now, don't over to the right, I go back up there now, dying. If we go down to the right down by here now on this footpath, this leads down to the crossing, roughly, by the fountain. That's it. And of course if we come around this direction. This will take you a fair old stroll, quite a while. It'll take you all the way down towards Kevin, Kevin Cribble way, roughly. And you can turn off to the right and come back around to uh, Park Slip Nature Reserve anyway, that way. Mm -hmm. It's all little paths through the bushes, yeah. But now we shall go back up here now. Here we are, we do a small video by here, down to the monument.
Here we have some of the flowers which are growing near the monument. If my cousin was here now, he would name all these flowers by her. I know the dandelion. And by here as well. Here we have some of the flowers which are growing near the monument. If my cousin was here now, he would name all these flowers by her. I know the dandelion. And by here as well. Not sure if we can see them, but there's plenty of little small white flowers here. Plenty of little small blue flowers. Not sure if we can see them. It does look quite pretty here. We get a closer look by here. Like that. And this is the wall perimeter around the monument. I don't know who looks after it, but they do a pretty decent job of keeping it tidy and clean. And of course there's some wonderful scenery around here with the trees as well. Oh, and the old collier chap by here with me as well. Did you forgot him as well? Hmm? The old collier chap by here. There's some more flowers here as well. A couple of over here as well. There you go for now. Maybe you shouldn't do this, but this is at the top of the monument. And through the little footpath for you. We now come up towards the monument by uh, 